Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how you can solve the problem of something went wrong. We will take you back to checkout so you can try again. So in most of the cases when you are maybe your customers are trying to do the payment from your credit card or debit card or maybe from your PayPal account. So this type of message you uh, could able to see um, from the PayPal server. So how we can solve that? Uh, so I will be showing you step by step in this video that what are the steps that you have to follow and in that way you can actually try to uh, get the solution out of this specific issue. So I will be showing you few things uh, to follow and uh, maybe because of those uh, you could able to solve the problems because uh, I had lot of other people who were also uh, having this type of issue so I suggested them and then after they uh, solved their uh, problem right so let me show you one after the other so before continuing the video if you are a new subs uh, new on this channel just click on the subscribe button and uh, uh, click on the bell icon as well because in the coming videos I will be uploading a lot of good stuff on this channel and because of which you could solve your daily basis problems uh, regarding to the technical aspect and maybe you have a web website or something else so you can also suggest me that uh, uh, these type of issues you are facing and I have to uh, create some videos on that so in this way we could able to solve the problem of one another right so let's continue with the video so first thing is that this error is like something went wrong we will take you back to check out so you can try again and then you will be getting the try again button and maybe some add other error but you are getting the similar thing like something went wrong so this mostly comes when uh, someone is trying to uh, buy a product and uh, once filling all the details and then clicking on the pay now button and after loading of uh, the screen of PayPal then you are redirected to this specific uh, uh, issue all right so let me show you few uh, steps that you need to follow so first of all you have to the first step is that you have to cross check your PayPal or maybe card details. If you have, if you are paying using the PayPal account, then you have to take care of your uh, your PayPal details. I mean, uh, if you are using your PayPal and you already know that once you logged in and then after uh, you choose your uh, credit card as well, for, uh, which is linked with your PayPal account. So you make sure that specific credit card details must be uh, correct. Or maybe nowadays we have the smart buttons uh, uh, buttons integrated into our websites so in those buttons we already get the credit card buttons uh, using which our customers could able to uh, do the payment so if that is the uh, but that button is in your website then of course you have to take care of uh, the details that you are filling uh, while uh, purchasing the uh, product so you have to take care of uh, the, uh, those uh, credit card details that those are correct or incorrect so you have to cross check it so if you are doing the payment just think about it that this is correct or not so this is the one step second step is like uh, in I have also seen some uh, scenarios uh, like uh, automatically the PayPal is uh, stopped working and showing this specific issue to our uh, clients and uh, after some time uh, the, the issue again fixed so how that is uh, going to be happening is like uh, you have to wait for some time maybe there is some uh, bug specific to a country by the PayPal so they are fixing something so at that moment you will have to wait for some time and if you have a WordPress website then the other thing is like you can deactivate your plugin and reactivate again or maybe you can update the old old version of the plugins because uh, people always try to update uh, the bugs I mean up, fix the bugs and update new things with their plugins and stuff so you have to take care of that uh, if they have added something new and removed any uh, uh, older thing then you have to keep updated with that one so in that way you can also fix the issue so the third step is like uh, clear your browser cache and cookies so let me show you how so there are few ways uh, uh, using which you can clear your cache and cookies for example you have the browser like you can see on my screen you need to click on inspect first of all you need to right click and then inspect and you will be getting a developer console below 
and here on the top left corner you will be get, you will be getting one refresh uh, symbol so you need to right click over it and then you can uh, check here empty cache and hard reload <coughs> all right so you need to click on this one and this will actually refresh and uh, clear all the cache and uh, other uh, old data from your uh, from your web page so because of which uh, if there would be any issue then there is the possibility that this can be solved so let me show you another way of uh, clearing your cache and cookies so that is like click on settings uh, just cl uh, click on right top corner there are uh, three dots and then click on settings and then again you will be getting some uh, uh, this type of screen so here you need to uh, search cache c a c h e so once you are searching here c a c h e cache then you will be getting an option clear browsing data so you need to click on this one then you will be getting lot of options here like browsing history cookies and other site data cache images and files and if you will go to the advanced then you will be getting bunch of other data so you need to select everything if you have not required for example you have the passwords saved so if you are uh, not interested to remove those passwords then you can uh, uncheck this one otherwise you can check everything check from here uh, also and then click on this drop down button and here you will be getting the uh, time period so if you will be uh, clicking on all time then everything would be deleted from the browser right then after you can click on clear data so within a short period of time this would be automatically cleared so this is also one of the way so if you are still not able to solve this issue then you can try with one more thing which is a uh, private browser so you need to click on these three dots here on the top right corner then you will be getting new incognito window so this is also called as private browser so you need to uh, open the website over here and then do the try to purchase the product and uh, it, there is the possibility that you could able to solve that issue from here so this is also one of the way then the next way is that uh, you should use different browser so for example currently i am using uh, google chrome so if you are interested you can also use uh, firefox or maybe microsoft edge safari or any other browser uh, in which you can access the internet right so you should uh, change that specific browser and maybe in that way it could work so this is also one of the way another way is like uh, try different device or computer so if you are using your own laptop maybe your laptop has the problem or issues regarding the cache and cookies and stuff like that so in that way you can try with different mobile uh, or maybe different computer laptop so you can try with those ones if uh, that is working over there or not so maybe you can uh, try two or three more device uh, rather thinking about a single device and just uh, taking the confirmation that this is not working at all so you should try two or three more devices so that you get confirmed that this issue still there right and another thing is like uh, you can change your internet connection as well for example you are using your laptop with the uh, wi-fi or maybe your mobile wi-fi so you can also try with any other uh, internet connection like uh, someone else internet connection so in that way you can try so this is also one of the way and if you are not able to solve this issue with all these possibilities which i have showed you already then you can go for uh, paypal support so i have already created one video detailed video that what are the possible ways to contact your paypal support like how you can uh, make a phone call how you can send them email how you can do the chat live chat or maybe use the forum ask the question answers so all the stuff I have explained over there, if you are interested to uh, use that specific uh, uh, part, then I will be adding the link into the description so, so you can follow that link and watch that video, a detailed video and you will get to know that how you can reach to the PayPal support and get the solution as soon as possible. All right. So I think I have 
covered a lot of uh, stuff in this video which you can try and fix your issue uh, with your uh, something went wrong error uh, which is coming while doing the payment uh, using your credit card or debit card or maybe your PayPal account uh, so in your website all right so once again if you are new on this channel just click on the subscribe button and also like this video and share this video as well because a lot of people are suffering from this issue and maybe this could help them out uh, you can share with your Facebook account or maybe uh, you can uh, use the whatsapp and all so in that way they could also able to fix the issues uh, using the ways which I have discussed in this video so actually these are the uh, few options which I have uh, explained you why because these I am also trying with other customers other clients who are also facing the issues and i give them the support and try to fix their uh, issues and all so in that way they could able to solve the issues all right so thank you so much for watching this video so let me uh, summarize all the points so you can see on the screen all the points which i have discussed uh, in this video these are the few points so you can follow once again and try into your computer and system so hopefully you could solve this issue so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video